Hello and welcome to TechViews Live. Um, now today I've got the Synology USB Station 2. And what Synology do is they're a company who do really, really good quality NAS solutions. Now NAS, if you haven't heard of it before, stands for Network Attached Storage. So basically storage that sits on your network and is available to a lot of computers instead of just being a hard drive that plugs into one computer. That's what Synology do. Um, but basically, before you all quit out this video and think, oh, it's just a hard drive share thing, there is a lot more that this tiny box here can do on your network. Um, now let's see where it fits in with the uh, Synology range. Now Synology have um, their disk stations which are the large units which take sort of three to four hard drives, you can go up to 15 hard drives and we're talking big capacity there but this one is designed at home user, uh, small business, someone who only needs say two hard drives on the network just to do very simple function with this um, and because it's quite a low down in their range it does come in at a very good price point, it's a very cheap price point which is good. Um, it's a good value for what you're getting really, it's an easy way to use their Synology services. Um, now this little unit, as well as being cheap to buy, is going to be cheap to run because it has a very low power consumption. Um, obviously it's going to depend on what hard drives you use because it does use external hard drives, but the unit itself here has a very low uh, power consumption which is great. And along with that, that goes with its fanless design. Because it's so small, no fan inside which means when it runs, it's going to be silent. You're going to not be able to hear it at all because there's no moving parts in there which again, goes to noise and also power consumption as well, so fanless is good. Um, core function of this is plug and play file sharing. Now if you didn't want to set anything up and just wanted to have it go, you would plug your two um, USB external hard drives into here, plug this into your router via an ethernet cable and you've got your sorted. Now this will appear on your network place on your computer and you're ready to share the uh, drives with your computers around the house. But if you wanted to start using this in a more advanced way, the way it's uh, supposed to be used, you're going to use their software which is called DS. Uh, DSM 3. Now that's Disk Station Manager 3.0 and that is a very powerful multitasking software which runs on here. It's got its own basic operating system on here and you access it via going to a website where you go to your IP address and this will pop along there. And um, basically this allows you to do a multitude of things um, which we will look into now. So let's gonna step, we're gonna grab my computer and we're gonna see how you use DSM 3 with a Synology USB Station USB Station 2, that's right. <laughs> a lot of USBs going on here. Okay, so we're going to have a look now at what DSM3, Disk Station Manager 3, the software, will look like when you're using your USB Station 2. So we're going to hop into my screen now. And we're in. Wicked. Um, just going to log in here. Okay. And you'll be meted by the desktop. Now this works exactly the same way Windows does. You've got desktop, you've got icons, you know, we can, if we launch here, here's your basically start menu. You've got the applications on this bit here. And then we brought up this, you can move it around just like Windows, you can minimize it and it's back here. So it works exactly like a fully featured operating system does. Really easy to use, really graphically impressive. Um, and it makes it a really easy experience to use. So this is the file browser. This is where all your files, this is where you manage your files that are stored on the hard drive on the server. So we've got a collection of folders at the top and we've got some random files. Now this is very messy, obviously, yours will probably be organized better than this one is. Um, but what I want to do here is basically you can upload files um, from your computer onto the server, you can download bits, you can open bits on here. So it basically gives you an overview of what's on your um, hard drive. Now speaking of the hard drive for the server, um, you need an external hard drive, but basically for best results, what you're going to want is you're going to want um, to format your hard drive. So you can leave it unformatted, just plug it in and all your existing files will be on there, but for best results, for the best read speeds, the best write speeds, you're going to want to format it with an EXT4 file format and using a 3.5 inch external hard drive. That is going to be the best result for you. Um, so carrying on here, that's the file browser, very nice. More applications we've got in here is we've got Audio Station. Now, Audio Station is quite advanced and what it can do, it can do a lot of things. Now, first and foremost, it is the music player. So if I was to click play, I mean it's found some music on here. Um, if you were to play in here, it just plays your computer. You can use it just to play on any computer around the house. If you store your tracks on the server, on the one hard drive, you can play it from all the computers in your house through this included audio player, which is really cool. Also, for um, iOS devices, so Apple for iPhones, iPads, and also Android phones, we've got the DS Audio application available for free in the App Store. And um, I'm just going to fire it up using my iPad here. And um, what you can do here is you can stream audio from the server to your iPad. So basically, I don't know if you're familiar with the music streaming service Spotify, but this is a free version of that. So you can do it yourself. So your own music, um, let's fire up some music.
and that is playing from the servers, stream wirelessly like that, and you've got your whole collection available to browse on the software, which is very cool. Um, so that is a really nice feature that you can do here if you have a device that's an Apple or an Android device. More media streaming um, is the fact that it uses, um, I've totally forgotten, DLNA, which is like digital lifestyle something, something streaming, something like that. But it's basically a universal way of streaming music to devices. And two devices that use this music stream or media streaming is the PS3 and the Xbox. So what you can, or the Xbox 360, what you can do is you can stream your music and movies to either one of these consoles. So it gives you like a really cool way to store your multimedia on here and then view it or listen to it through your games console. So that's another way you can stream your audio and video like wirelessly without having to save it to your device. That's a really cool feature that works on here. Um, we've also got um, the last application, that's a full screen look. The last application we've got on here is a download station. Now, what this is, is basically download station. Imagine you need to download a huge file that normally you might leave your computer on overnight's download. Now your computer's download, it uses so much energy and power, so it's gonna be expensive to keep your computer on at night. Now this little thing uses no energy, so you can set any download, you paste the URL in there, you want it to download, and you'll just say download, and it'll download itself on the server. So you can turn off your computer and not worry about it, and it'll be ready there, by, hopefully, by the next time you turn on your computer to check on its progress. And that saves the file to the server hard drive, and you just drag it off the server and put it on your computer. So that's an easy download, which also does torrents, um, FTP downloads, HTTP downloads, a lot. So really, really cool there. I find that really useful when I'm downloading driver updates and stuff like that. I always use this program. Um, a few more capabilities of this. Um, basically, we have got um, blah, 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 printer sharing, that's what we want to go on to. So you've got two USB ports at the back of the device, but you can plug in up to four things, so two printers and two hard drives on this device. So basically you would use it to plug in your printer, and all the computers in your network can use this one computer uh, printer, which is very easy. Um, and I think, to be honest, that is it. The way you would really, I, I will show you actually, um, what, how this is going to look if you don't bother to set anything up, so if you just plug it in and literally don't touch this DSM 3.0. So we go into computer, we go into network, we'll be able to see in a minute under computers, there we are, GRL NAS1, that is what I've named this uh, Synology disk station too, so double click on that, I'll just carry on through to here, and there's all the folders again on the server, so even if you don't set it up, and all the computers will just find it, you don't even need to tell them where to look, it will just find it, and it will be there, so like on the laptops you have, on your other computers, all the files will be available right there, which is really cool. Um, and you can just use it, as say you had a memory stick, the same way, you go in there, you um, grab stuff, copy stuff, paste it, easy as that. Um, so the USB Station 2 is really good for people who have multiple external hard drives that they want to share files around their home network. Um, it's good, you know, if you have some, you want to share your music between devices or you need to save on space and not duplicate saving so you have all your files in one place able to access on loads of computers. Really easy way to do it, very cheap way to do it and very energy efficient. This is the USB Station 1 from Synology. Uh, thanks Kevin for sending it out to me, nice one. Looking forward to working with you in the future. Um, and I hope you enjoyed Tech Reviews Live. If you have any questions about this or any other reviews, feel free to email me at sam at techreviewslive.com. Don't forget to check out our sister channel, um, website, whatever, with me, again, if you want more of me, which is Gaming Reviews Live, so youtube.com slash Gaming Reviews Live. And I will see you next time. Thanks for you. So cheers, guys, and uh, have a good Christmas.